Good morning and happy Saturday, guys. Um, so this morning I am off, but tonight I start a stretch of um, five straight night shifts. Um, so I'm just gonna have a good breakfast, gonna go out um, afterwards, do a little bit of shopping, cause after that I'm gonna be in the house for the next five days. Um, so the night shift that I'm doing is from 6 p.m. to 4 a.m. It's kind of a weird um, shift getting off at 4 a.m. But yeah, it's a 10 hour shift pick up patients for the first nine hours and then kind of wrap up for that um that final hour start by eating this breakfast and then i'll head out all right i'm out just got to the mall i want to go to h&m so i'll find any jeans and then possibly old navy as well and then sephora i like the weather is cooling down a bit it is still very hot in gainesville but it's not like scorching hot like how it usually is what size I am anymore. I haven't shopped for jeans in so long. So I have like four different jeans in my hands. I walked over to the fitting room and of course it's closed. I don't know why I'm surprised but this makes things a bit difficult but I definitely need to try on um, these jeans. I have a couple different sizes. Alright I'm done with my shopping. I ended up getting one jean from um, some denim jeans from H&M, some earrings, and then I stopped by Sephora to get um, some foundation. But it is about um, one o'clock. I'm gonna head home. I have a presentation to work on, and then I'm gonna take a nap before um, my night shift starts. All right, so I'm back home. Um, rested for a little bit. Didn't take a nap though. Um, it's about 3:45. Just about to have some lunch. Um, having some chicken parm that I made a couple days ago some salad um, as well so I meal prep some chicken parm um, some salmon with sweet potato and broccoli and I just made this salad which will last a couple of days I really enjoyed this salad too I just used this um, spring mix from Walmart cherry tomatoes cucumbers um, some boiled eggs uh, strawberries and then grilled some chicken Really, if you could find like one to two days to cook out of the week, it's really all you need. Oh my gosh, this rain is like non stop here over the past couple weeks, and it's just so random. So, I always have an umbrella with me because you just never know. You may think, why not just check, check the weather forecast? But I checked this morning before I went out um, to go shopping, and it said it's supposed to be sunny all day, but here's the rain, so can't even trust it. All right, so I just got to the hospital. It is still raining. I'm hoping this will keep some people home <laughs> and that the ED will be not so busy tonight. So I'll see you guys when I get off. Also, one of our previous videos, when you guys asked if I can do a what's in my bag kind of video, I did one of those in third years, which I can tag, but literally what's in my bag is my stethoscope, a notebook, something to write with, and like some of the like guides, like the antibiotic guides, things like that. So. Nothing too crazy in there. Before you enter, you have to do temperature check. Welcome. Please align your face in the outline. Please All right, proceed. good to go. I am done. It's about 4.30. Pretty good night. Pretty steady night. Um, did not drag. Wasn't super busy. Wasn't slow either. Um, kind of like it steady not so busy where it's like it's overwhelming but not slow either it was a good um, amount of patients that came in tonight some pretty interesting cases tonight as well one patient came in in sickle cell crisis and it was pretty much like textbook symptoms all the symptoms you read in the textbooks you pretty much presented with um, another patient came in with acute psychosis and the findings on the CT head showed us why she was having acute um, psychosis. Overall, pretty good night. And obviously because of HIPAA and patient privacy, I can't go into any details about 
the kind of patient symptoms and diagnosis that I see in the emergency department. Back home, it's about five o'clock. I have a pretty short, like seven, eight minute drive um, from the hospital um, to home. So that is nice. Um, I'm gonna set my alarm for 12 p.m. So that's about seven hours of sleep. I guarantee I'm gonna just wake up naturally before that time. I never really sleep well after night shifts, but I have taken melatonin. So hopefully I'll get a good few hours in. Good morning, guys. So, um, or afternoon. <laughs> it's about 12.15. Uh, I actually woke up around 10.30, but was able to fall back asleep and then slept until my alarm went off at 12 p.m. So I've got a pretty good night of sleep. Um, man, the sun is so bothering. Like, if you don't have blackout curtains or wear eye masks, it just totally messes up your sleep. So I walked over to... Baskin Robbins, get some ice cream. It's about three o'clock from the time I woke up from 12, so now it's been laying around um, at home. Going in again at six today. Um, so yeah, not much plan for today. Just gonna be at home, chilling until I go in again tonight. I feel like uh, the first couple nights are always fine, and then that third, that fourth night, that's when the exhaustion hits <laughs> being on night shift. So last night, um, I was taking care of a patient and he looked at my badge and he was like, um, you know, where's that uh, that name from? Or how do you say that name and where's it from? And I was like, you know, Eze, it's Nigerian. And he was like, he was like, oh, interesting. Um, are you a US citizen or a permanent resident? And I looked at him and I was like, I was born and raised in Atlanta. And he was like, oh, good for you. But it's like, what, what is the intention behind that question? Like, why is it any of your business if somebody is legal versus not legal, their status in this country? That question, I'm just trying to like wrap my head around why he would ask that question. You know, I, I kind of already know the answer to this question. Um, it was an older white man and I'll just leave it at that. Also, telling your um, physician your doctor, your provider, whatever, that they don't look like they can or should be your doctor because of their age or their youth rather is not a compliment. Um, also directly asking um, your provider uh, their age is not really something you should do either. Um, I had this happen on several occasions where somebody just like, you do not look like you can be my doctor. Um, you know, just referring to my age. Um, also one patient just re directly asked, he was like, you know, how old are you? You look like about, you look like you're about 17 years old. I literally just gave him um, those one, one of those little hee hee smirks and was like, well, I'm not. And walked out of the room, simple as that. But you're there, you're providing quality care for them. Um, you're being the best um, provider that you can be um, for them, regardless of, um, you know what they're saying to you uh, what their beliefs are or anything like that and I think with emergency medicine it's just so hard because you have such a quick interaction with patients you know um, you're often seeing them at one of their worst moments nobody wants to be in the emergency department um, so it's it could be a difficult interaction compared to let's say maybe a family medicine doctor or an OB-GYN doctor where they've established this relationship with their patients they've built a rapport they've built that relationship and so it's just a different relationship there pretty much um but i mean don't get me wrong i've had some very pleasant and sweet patients come through the emergency department and um others not so kind all right guys i took a one hour nap eight um it's 5 40 getting ready to head out right now and i'll see you guys after the shift so i am done for the day it's 3 15 ended early tonight um I picked up a patient like right before the cutoff time. So if your shift ends at four, you pick up patients up until an hour before it ends, so until three. Picked up one around like 2.50, and then um, one of the senior residents just let me sign out the patient to him and go home early, which is really nice of him. Today was a good day. Um, managed my first stroke alert from start to finish by myself, so that was nice. Good morning, guys. Got some French toast going. 
All right, I'm gonna call this brunch since it's now noon. <laughs> I got brunch going and I'm about to start watching um, Imposters. But y'all, after I left my shift and signed out my patient um, to the senior resident, shit hit the fan. <laughs> so I woke up this morning from a text um, from the resident was like, um, go back and look up that, that patient um, that you signed out to me. It was all fine and then it went downhill from then, from there. And so I looked it up and um, the reason that he was there, he had several more episodes of that and then he became hypoxic, had to be emergently intubated, um, went into cardiac arrest. Um, they did get ROSC, um, which is return of you know spontaneous, uh, spontaneous circulation, had to be admitted to the ICU. And I'm just like, wow, <laughs> if I was there, I would have been managing all of that. Um, but I'm, I'm glad the patient is doing well. He, I actually took care of him when he came in a few weeks ago for a different complaint. I looked at him, I'm like, this is familiar. And I'm like, okay, I remember him. Um, but yeah, glad the patient is doing well now. I woke up around 10:30. Um, um, feel pretty good and well rested. Just about to have some breakfast now. And the eye mask really makes a difference. I didn't start wearing that until um, this week, but like I feel like the brightness in my room was some of the reasons why I was just like waking up so early after a night shift. But I've had a good um, two nights of sleep. Dark but like I mentioned, um, I've been watching Imposters. So season one was really, really good. Season two is a bit slower, um, but overall it's a pretty good show on Netflix. Good morning guys, it's the next day. Um, I didn't film going into my shift um, yesterday, but I had another good shift uh, yesterday night. Pretty steady, got off on time, had a good night's uh, rest. Um, now I'm up, headed over to this coffee shop um, near my apartment. Saw it on Instagram, so I'm gonna try it out. <laughs> I have two more night shifts. I'm done with this five day stretch. I can see the light <laughs> at the end of this tunnel. Um, but honestly, it hasn't been too bad of a week. After this five day stretch, I have two days off and then another five day stretch. Um, it's not all nights though, it's it's three days and two nights. Um, and the reason I have all these stretches of five days is because the beginning of the month, September, I took a four day stretch off for Labor Day, went back home to Atlanta. And then next week at the end of this month, I have another four day stretch off, I'm going back to Atlanta. But it's because I'm taking an ATLS course that's in the Atlanta area, so I have four days off. So because of that, I had so many shifts like grouped into like chunks or stretches of time. So I stopped by Walmart because um, I'm looking for some under scrubs, like um, long sleeve to wear under my scrubs because it's so cold in the hospital. I have um, two that I got from Figs. I wanted to pick up a couple more here. Uh, it's a gray one and a black one. This is more like athletic wear kind of like those the current ones that i have are uh cotton so i ended up going with a light gray and a dark gray one so this is what the under scrub fits like um lightweight pretty good fit to it i'm about to put the scrub top over it and see how it fits as well these are the other two under scrubs that Fig sent me. Just got them out of the dryer, hence why they're so wrinkled. But this was from the Windsor Bigger um, campaign, the new icons. And then this previous one they sent me has the um, awesome humans on the sleeves. These are both cotton. Um, I think I actually like this athletic um, wear better, this material. But yeah, now I have one, two, three, four. All right, <laughs> it is 5.30, time for another shift, four of five, almost there. See you guys tomorrow. What a night, what a night. Got one intubation tonight, got one hip reduction, super busy from start to finish. As soon as I walked in, the waiting room was packed again, so I knew it was gonna be a pretty long night, but I'm exhausted. Hey guys. So it is much later in the afternoon, like around 3.30. I'm 
Went to pick up some lunch. Um, I actually don't usually eat out. I mainly cook, but sometimes you just get tired of eating the same old thing. So um, there's a few walkable restaurants down the street. So I just grabbed some lunch for this afternoon. Y'all can probably see it in my eyes, but I am tired. I am really, really tired, but one more night to go. <laughs> so funny. Um, I was working with my attending the other day and she was like, um, I've been hearing about your YouTube channel. What is it called? And so I told her the name and then uh, she looked it up while we were there and she was like, you're kind of like Beyonce, you know, you're pretty reserved in person, but on camera you really shine. I was like, I think I'm pretty reserved in my videos as well. I'm just eating kill. That's how you can describe me. Los Pollos. First time trying it. Just like that, I'm done with another shift. Done with my five days of nights. Overall, solid week. I got central line this week, two intubations, a hip reduction. Um, so a good week of procedures, um, good week of learning overall. All right, so I know this vlog has gotten pretty long, so I will wrap it up tomorrow morning when I wake up, or we already are ahead tomorrow morning. I'll wrap it up in a few hours when I wake up. Good morning. Um, so my takeaway from this past week of nights is that actually working the night shift um, is not bad at all, at least for me. Um, I don't have any issues staying up during the night shift. It's usually pretty you know, busy in the emergency department. I guess it just depends on where you're working. If you're somewhere where you're sitting and there's not much activity, then obviously it will be pretty uh, tough to stay up during a night shift. But for me, I mean, it's pretty busy in the ED. The time goes by. For me, it's like the next day, um, getting up and recovering and not being so exhausted. So I found that um, what works for me is having like good sleep hygiene. So making sure the apartment is nice and cool um, at night. Also, um, if you don't have blackout curtains, at least like an eye mask, that really worked for me this week because the, the light is very bothering um, after I try to go to sleep. And then also um, I took two melatonins um, every night before I went to sleep um and then also like when you wake up just trying not to lay in bed you know all day that's just gonna make you more tired so at least try to get up do something go outside if you can work out do that and I have the strength to work out this week but I will be working out today and tomorrow since I'm off but just do you know do something so you're just not feeling like oh you know just sitting down and or laying in bed all day pretty much the 6, 6 p.m. to 4 a.m. night shift is a weird time. Um, and then going in at 6 just seems so early because once you finally wake up, start doing, thing, doing things, getting your day started, it's time to go right back in. We also have an 11 p.m. to 8 a.m. night shift, um, which I think I prefer because after you get off um, sleep and then wake up, at least you have your full day before you go back in again that night at 11 p.m. So yeah overall a good week i have the next two days off so i will be um resting and we will be back at it again with my next shift on saturday so i will see you guys in the next video hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next time bye